Delighted to say we're joined here in McLean's TV with Sammy Klingen, Northern Ireland International, and now Linfield midfielder. Can you tell me how did it come about? Was it an old friendship thing with you and David whenever he approached you? Tell us how it actually happened. Well, as everyone knows, like I know David quite well um, from the international days, and he's a he's a friend of mine. So last last season, um, back end of last season, I was coming back from my rehab, which I was doing in Sports Institute of Northern Ireland, which was really good. I got to a stage where I needed to train with a team, so basically the physio from the Sports Institute spoke to David Healy and I spoke to David as well and he let me come in and train with him for a couple of weeks. So I was really thankful of that. So the season had passed and then this year I'd sort of come back to full fitness and I was thinking what I was going to do. Um, I had a few offers of going back across to England to train with teams and stuff like that. So I just decided um, I was just going to move back home because I was happy um, to be around my family and stuff again and David called me to see if I'd be interested in going there and I went across and spoke to him and I liked the ideas that he had for this coming season so I'm looking forward to getting started. You've seen the Irish League, you know what uh, the style is in the Irish League, uh, there's not much time on the ball in the Irish League and there'll be a lot of boys out to turn and say there's Sammy Klingon, I'm going to take a piece out of him. <laughs> yeah well um, in my time off while I was here doing my rehab for the year I went and caught up with a couple of Irish League games and I seen seen it um, f like through my own eyes what, what it was about and stuff so I'll have to adapt to the sort of style that's um, played in the Irish League. I, s I see Linfield like who they're a big club and hopefully I can come here and help them win trophies um, but if people want to have a kick at me then so be it I'll just I'll get used to it. What about your fitness you know what about your levels because you went through a torrid time you missed out in the Euros with Northern Ireland which was a real blow to yourself and a lot of fans felt for you because you're so much part of the fabric of the team for so many years. I was absolutely devastated Logie to, to miss it um, to be honest with you um, such a major tournament and I've been there for like 10 years or so playing um, for Northern Ireland and stuff and obviously to miss that there was really disappointing but it's just one of these things that happen um day to day football and I was one of the um ones to miss out as well as well as Chris Brunt. I'm sure he was um got it as well. But the lads done fantastic over there. Um I was actually on holiday in Mexico and I was able to catch the um group games and um I thought they were they done really well. I don't think they started well against Poland but they showed their true colours against um Ukraine with a two 0 win and then Obviously, Germany, who are really quality, quality said, um, held them to one 0 So it was good for the lads to get through, and disappointed that they couldn't go on against Wales. You were always very enthusiastic all over the years when we were at uh, Northern Ireland. Is Northern Ireland over for you? Do you think, or is there still a chance? Is there a window there for you for Sammy Klingen? I'm a realist, Logie. Um, I'm coming thirty three now in January, and. I know the sort of stance that Michael O'Neill has um, with players. He wants them to play at as high a level as possible. And I don't think playing in the Irish League is going to warrant a call up to the international setup. But I haven't retired or anything from international setup. If Michael ever needed me, then he knows I'd always be ready for him and stuff. But realistically, I don't think so now. So, I mean, how difficult is it for a player of your stature who has come from international occasions all over the world with Northern Ireland? And obviously playing with the likes of Forest and Norwich at the highest level at the top table to come to the Irish League. How difficult a change is that for you for the likes of yourself? Yeah, it is going to be difficult. Um obviously like um playing with Linfield, it's only part time. So we train Monday, Tuesday, Thursday nights. Um whereas as a as a full time footballer, I was training Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, obviously game on Saturday, off Sundays and Wednesdays. So it is going to be different. I'm going to have to sort of change. I don't know what I'm going to do during the daytime. Um, I've started to do a bit of coaching. Um, I've done my coaching badges during the summer. So I'm going to have to look in to start doing some of that. Um, and it's a sort of line that I'm looking to go down in the future. Would you see management as a, a future occupation for Sammy Klingon? Or do you prefer the coaching at this stage of your career? I think um, I would like to be a manager, to be honest. I know there's a lot of stress that goes with it and stuff, as you can see, with different managers and stuff. But it's something I've always been involved in football all my life, so I would like to give something back to the game as well. You're with Linfield, and to be fair, you know we can talk about all the various uh, teams within the league, but Linfield for many, many years, the benchmark, and Linfield fans will still see themselves as the benchmark. David Healy is doing a good job. He's taking his time. He's going to put his own stamp on the team, and Linfield will not be far away this year. Yeah, well, I hope so. Um, David, what I can see is a young 
manager who's learning the learning the route quick. Um, he he's done really well so far. When I was in, they they were on an unbeaten run at the back end of last season. It was disappointing that they could beat by Glen Avon in the cup final. Um, I'm sure he was disappointed about that as well, but. I'm sure the lads will learn from that this season. Um, he's signed a couple of players, myself, Roy Carl, Josh Carson, who used to play international level as well. So um, he's doing a good job there, and hopefully we can. We've had a good start as well um, against Balna Mallard away. It's a tough place to go. So hopefully we can go on and um, do well this season. You mentioned a few of the signings there. That's a wealth of experience to bring in there. When you think about it, up just up to a, a, a few months ago, almost Roy Carl was not Ireland's number one before Michael McGovern stepped in and, and took over. That's a wealth of experience to bring to Windsor Park, isn't it? Yeah, Roy's like been there, done it. Um, he's been at the top clubs in England. He's been at Manchester United, West Ham. All, all he's been like. He's been at the top for a long period of his career, and obviously you said there about international level. Roy will bring a lot of experience to Linfield, um, just in the dressing room, in the round the place. He's always talking, he's a bubbly character. He'll keep the defence on their toes, he, he'll talk to them all the time. So that's something that's going to benefit the whole squad. You're obviously hoping too that some of the younger lads and the people around you are going to benefit from you, from your experience, from the things you'll be able to pass on to them. Yeah, well there's like a couple of fantastic young players there um, who are looking to make their way in football. Um, so and whatever I can pass on to them, I'll be more than helpful to pass it on. Um, I'll just try and lead by example on the pitch and try and get the best out of the players around me. Are you looking forward to it? I, I am. Um, I forgot what it was like to play football there because I've been out for so long. It's been such a hard time for me the past 16 months, but getting the opportunity to come here and play, um, I'm really thankful for Dave, to David for... For, for letting me do that and I can't wait to get started and hopefully just try and stay injury free this season. Sammy, I think the fans, uh, not only Linfield fans but all fans will be ready to see you back after what's been a very, very difficult time. I wish you all the very, very best for the coming season. I wish you nothing but success. Thank you very much, Logie. Cheers.